place. Jesse, Jesse owns this place, so Johnny, so they they made the plaque for bands they like. And if you don't know, they don't make plaques for bands that suck, so that that's why the bands come. I'm just happy to be on the plaque. Urban waste. Urban waste. Uh, void. A lot of bands play here. I grew up here. This is a special place, and uh, I can't believe I'm here right now playing. This is gonna be fun. So. Uh, no, Butch Lost isn't up there. Reagan Newt's up there, right? I think Reagan Newt's up there. I guess, I guess Stephen Yu would support the sound of this time. We'll, we'll take a collection to make an addition. You guys ready to have a good time? Yeah! Welcome to the rebirth of A7. Yes! We used to play on that side. Hey, look at that picture. That's the way it used to be. Hey, who's that guy in the picture? That's me when I was on Angel Dust and had hair. <laughs> now I'm just drunk and have no hair. Let's go, guys. <laughs> Oh! <laughs> 
to walk by brother Jesse Mallon. And uh, Johnny used to play in a band called Times of Progress, and we've been boys for a long time. But he, <laughs> he used to have an apartment up the block, and uh, Black and Blue had a big fight up the block, and we all went to his apartment, and it was like 400 people in a tiny apartment. But thank you, Johnny, for letting this happen in this place. I didn't grip it till the other day. I was like, wow, oh, I'm going to play in seven. Thank you so much, everybody. This is amazing. It's kind of a shock. I, didn't, I was like, yeah, I'm going to yeah, play the back of Niagara or whatever. And then I, I didn't think about it. There's that stupid picture of me. With the, well, yeah, but in this, I, I, you guys understand. In this room, in this tiny little space, the Misfits played, My yes! Desire played, SOA played, yes! so many bands played, and I, I, was, I was 15 and I was a bouncer on Angel Dust, <laughs> and Ray Bees and I were at the door here, there was a dog named Mickey that was an Afghan dog, and, and the, the front was closed, the bar was on the other side, but this place every night had reggae music, different kinds of music every night, and we could go across the street and burn like a, like a fucking garbage can all night. It was a different neighborhood, but but thank you, Johnny, for keeping it. Look, this. This is, how awesome! A free show, and where actually the the birth of hardcore music it began. It wasn't CBs because we were we were playing here before CBGBs ever had us, and even still they suck dick to the Talking Heads and and bands are, they they suck dick to bands. Honestly, let me tell you. They sucked it to bands that only played that like three times. Like, Gnostic Farm represented did benefit to keep CBGBs open. And we get no respect. This room is where it began. This one's called... So goes out to the meat and the hardcore.